Hi guys, uh, I'm out with Mike and uh, uh, Digging Canada and uh, Daryl Cashmall, my usual partners. We're hitting a baseball field at a park we've hit before several times. Uh, I got this signal here, copper. Nothing too exciting to write home, but uh, it's a George the Sixth, but it's a 1938 George the Sixth, which they don't happen too too often. The 30s ones would have been nice if it was in a better condition. All right, I'll see you on the next. All right, these guys are way ahead of me. Kashmo got a dime and two quarters. Uh, I got myself a gold coin. A gold. gold? Yeah. How about that? It is gold. Just take a look, guys. All right. I'm not lying to them. Hi, guys. Well, finally, I get something a little bit older. It's not silver, silver? but it's good condition. 1916. Oh, nice. Largy. What year? 16. Large. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys. Finally, finally. I've been digging George the Six pennies, couple wheaties. Mike's been killing it on dimes. And, uh,. Daryl just left us with two quarters and a dime. Let's see what that is. That it looks like a silver edge for sure. It's, a, it's George the Six. Not the oldest, but it's a dime finally. Finally. Thank you. Mm. Kissing the coin. Not the old, but I'm kissing it. All right, I'll see you on the next. Hey guys, uh, this was showing me about uh, four to six inches, but uh, it uh, wasn't that deep. Uh, looks like a piece of jewelry. Oh, an earring. It does look silver for sure. Yeah, that's a silver earring. Nice. Yeah, there's some marks on, on the back. Yeah. All right, Mike's coming to take a look. That's nice. All right, uh, just a little older penny. Good condition. 1932, King George V. See, there might be something else in the hole. I'm gonna check. Hey guys, Mike just came over. Asked, "What is that?" That is my question. Let's zoom in a little bit. I think it's a cross of some sort. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No gold. But uh, I don't think it's gold. No, looks copper. Cool. Yeah, that looks copper, right? What well, was it ringing, high or low? Uh, you know what? On the low side. I forgot. Exactly. Anyway, hopefully there is more little nice little signals around here. I'm at the entrance of the park that I frequently found. You can see this. There's a whole pile 
of ashes there. And this thing says 1927 on the same level. Found uh, some George the Sixth pennies nearby. What's this? A piece of a clay pipe or something. All right. I got a little broken up signal, uh, bouncing all over the place. I think it's a nickel. Hopefully it's a bit older one. Oh yeah, it's George the Sixth nickel. I like getting those nickels. There is more. There it is. Very nice condition too. Not gonna wrap the other side. We'll check the year on the wrap up, but that's that's a good sign. Only about two or three inches down. Well, let's see what else is in the hole. I'll get you on the next clip. Hi guys. Uh, so I'm out at the park, the same uh, spot where which I hit with uh, Mike and Daryl Cashmall and uh, Doug in Canada. And uh, it was cold last night, minus six, but the ground does not appear to be frozen. That's the good news. The bad news, it's only a penny. Modern, but I, hopefully I can, I can find something older too. It started to snow, but the ground is good. No wind right now. I got this deep squeaky signal and I think I got something let's see I can see it right there in the hole I hope it's a coin looks like it could be a quarter size I did not get a quarter in a long time so that would be awesome and it's uh, yeah it's about this uh, deep what does it what is it this deep uh, let's measure with this okay well it's got to be six to seven inches deep let's see oh no ha huh, I got pulled up oh boy not nice All right, hopefully there's more of a good kind. Okay, I've been at the uh, digging. Uh, that's about five, six inches down. Got a bit of a penny signal. Let's see. There's to be some kind of a medallion. Old religious medallion. It's cool. So there are still good signals there. Just got to dig them all. Maybe silver will come by. All right, guys. Haven't been getting silver, but I've got something nice. Not really that deep. Maybe three, three and a half inches. This is, uh, I, the minute came out of the grad, I knew it's something different. Looks like nice condition too. Can you see that? Let me turn it around. Oh yeah, it says one cent. It's an Indian. I knew the grand's a bit mixed up here, so. Oh, that is cool. Wonderful condition. Oh, beautiful condition. Sorry. I'm getting too excited to get it off camera. And it's 1800s. 1891 Indian. In an excellent condition. Well, maybe not excellent, but pretty good condition. Not even.
than a rabbit anymore. Wow. That's so nice. Finally, I got maybe another 45 minutes to be here, so at least I can go home with something. 1891, nice. Time for a wrap up. Uh, this is from two hunts I did uh, at the same spot. And uh, the first hunt was uh, with uh, Mike Ding in Canada and uh, Daryl Cashmo. And uh, the second hunt I went there on my own. And uh, let's start with. Uh, actually, there was uh, there's cup. I think a uh, couple things here from uh, where I went to. Uh, uh, for a walk in in uh, in the woods. Um, okay, so uh, the usual keys are here. This is some kind of valve. Pieces of copper. This is the uh, insulator from knob and tube. Well, not the whole thing, it's broken. Uh, Johnny Walker, little piece. This must be from uh, some kind of a gear. Got a couple of uh, more bling like looking things. Okay, uh, yeah, like this. There's some shiny stones that are falling out. And a uh, couple of re religious medallions. I mean, one uh, cross and one medallion. I like to find those. Even though they're not silver, it's kind of cool. And uh, more first intact shredder. Uh, I don't know if I can take it apart. I usually just find uh, just one section of it, but uh, this one was whole. And uh, uh, the coins. A uh, bunch of pennies. Okay, we got uh, two dollars and fifty-five cents in clad. A lot of dimes. Thirty-five cents U.S. in clad. Nine of the young Elizabeth pennies. Nineteen. There was a lot of King George over there pennies. Only one thirty-eight. I did not uh, um, write them down today. Four wheat pennies from the 40s. Uh, one TTC ticket, uh, token, still usable. Value 330, I think. And uh, the good stuff. So, uh, 1942 dime. This earring mark nine to five weighs just a little bit uh, a tad more than uh, than a dime and uh, I think 2.9 grams and uh, we had uh, this 1914 nickel Kind of like getting nickels too, because they're not, you don't get them frequently. One 1932 penny, King George V. Uh, one 
1916 large penny King George V as well and uh, all this coin and only my second Indian from 1891 pretty decent condition alright and that uh, wraps it up um, thanks for watching uh, and all your support and uh, uh, I will have some more videos uh, soon I I'm doing more bottle digging so uh, there's gonna be much more bottles and uh, decent bottles this time so uh, stay tuned for that see you on the next